In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a contact list from Microsoft Outlook and put it in a CSV file that could then be imported into another program or simply opened in Microsoft Excel or another spreadsheet program. To get started, uh, find the contacts in the contacts page and just have a look at the folder that they're in. This one's in contacts, this computer only, and I want to export the entire folder. So I'm going to go to file, open and export import export. When the wizard pops up I'm going to click export to a file, click next. We're going to select comma separated values, click next. And then here I want to select the folder. So this one says contacts this computer only and I'm not going to scroll up because I don't want to show my email address but it is under a particular email address in the selection. So if you have multiple email accounts in Outlook make sure you just select the right one that way click next and then choose where you're going to save the file I'll just export it to my desktop click next okay now make sure this is checked there beside the the folder and then go map custom fields and so if you go to clear map then this means essentially none of the data will be exported and so what you could do is you could drag over the specific items you want exported here so if I just want first names for instance I can just drag that over just, just like that and then maybe I just want like first name and email address so we do email address like that uh, again I can clear map and then if you want to just export everything the easiest way to do it is default map and it just drags everything over into here the only downside to this is that you'll have a lot of columns in the final CSV file where there is no data because a lot of your contacts probably don't have all of this data you probably just have names uh, and email addresses so you might have some additional data like phone number but the reality is you're not gonna have all of this data on most of your contacts if any uh, that's a lot of fields and so you can clean up the final CSV by just dragging over the things you need but if you're not sure what you need or if you're probably planning to export to another program going with the default map is just the easiest option and that's what I'm gonna pick so with that done I can click OK and go finish and at this point now I have the file on my desktop, I can go ahead and open it up in Microsoft Excel and I could show you what the final file looks like. Okay. And here we are. So we have the final file and like I mentioned there's a lot of blank columns unfortunately just because those contacts don't have that data. But the fields are filled in. And we can see it, it, fills, it, it fills a couple fields with almost blank data too that it doesn't have. And then it has a uh, couple couple similarly you know done columns gender is unspecified uh, but for the most part all the data I need is here I have names I have email addresses so I could just go ahead and delete the empty columns if I want just you know like so it's not it's not a big deal but so if you don't want to have all these empty columns just make sure when you're exporting the data that you select only the fields you want when you do the mapping uh, with that, this is a CSV file, so we could save it as a regular Excel file if we want to, or we could just keep using it like this, uh, and it would be essentially ready to import into another program. So with that, we've successfully exported the contacts from Microsoft Outlook. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys do need more help with this, feel free to comment below or check out my written tutorial, which will be linked in the description. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.